Welcome back to another video. So today's video is one that I did for a Charlie's Nail Art collab. Um, the theme for this one was bridal. I'm just going to be using these two colours from Mifa. They're kind of nude colours really. Um, and I'm just going to do a bit of an ombre on the thumb, the ring finger and the pinky. I'm just going to do an ombre on them. Um, I'll show you doing this thumb in real time. And I'll speed the other two up and I'll get them cured in the lamp for 30 seconds and I will give them a second coat off camera as well. Once I've got the two colours on my nail that I want to ombre, I just use a little tiny detailer brush and I just brush it side to side and slightly up and down just to blend them colours together. Um, yeah, it's just the way I've always found it easier is to always just use a little thin detailer brush. So yeah, I'm just going to let you watch and I'll be back in a sec. Right, that's that ombre done on them three nails now. They've both had two coats. What I'm going to do on this index finger, I want this index finger to kind of represent the bride. So I'm going to draw like um, the bride's dress kind of thing. I've put some white from also from Mifa on my palette. I've just put a little dot in the middle just so I know exactly where the middle is. And I'm just going to outline and draw the top of her dress. And then once I'm happy with that outline, I'll get the whole dress coloured in then. I am going to have to speed these parts up because it does take me a while. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to draw the, the bride's dress. And once I've drawn that, I'll stick it in the lamp for 30 seconds. Um, and I'll give it a quick second coat off camera. Right, whilst that one's curing in the lamp, now I'm going to be going to the nail that's going to represent the groom, and I kind of want, kind of want to put, um, kind of a tuxedo. I don't even know what a tuxedo looks like, <laughs> but he's going to have a um, black and white suit and a little black bow tie. So again, I'm just going to let you watch, and I'll be back in a sec. Right, while that's curing in the lamp, I've pulled out this silver from Savvyland. It's called Classic Silver and it is number PT300. And what I want to do with this silver is I just want to outline the top of this bride's dress. I think it was looking a bit plain, just white like that. So yeah, in hindsight, I should have done this after I painted her skin. I'm going to paint her skin in a, a, a pale, pale pink colour in a minute. 
I made it a bit hard on myself. <laughs> I should have done that first, but it's fine. I just had to be more careful. So yeah, I'm just painting the top of a little dress there, and then I'll stick that in the lamp for 30 seconds. And that's her dress done. I didn't want her dress to be all fancy schmancy and full of glitz and glam. I just wanted it nice and subtle like that. So yeah, I'll stick that in the lamp for 30 seconds and then we'll get the rest of this nail finished. All I need to do is just colour her skin in or what would be her skin. So yeah, I'm just using a really, really pale, pale pink from me. It's the pale pink that I've done the bottom colour of the ombre with. It's the exact same colour. So yeah, I'm just going to colour her in and then I'm going to finish the groom's outfit. <laughs> I'm just going to give the groom some black buttons and a black bow tie. So yeah, again, I'll let you watch and I will be back in a minute. Okay, that's them two nails pretty much done now. I just want to put um, a kind of little necklace on the bride nail. I'm going to do that using caviar beads. And on the nails where I've done an ombre, I want to do um, a bit of a, a glitter fade on those nails. So I want to put the glitter into the wet base coat. And then once I cure the glitter into that wet base coat, it will stay exactly where I put it. So the glitter that I'm going to be using is um, from Charlie's Nail Art and it's a silver holographic hex mix. It is so, so colourful, really colourful. Look at it sparkling, that dish. Look at the colours. It's crazy, isn't it? I love that. Really, really nice mix. I really like that. Right, what I want to do with this glitter is I just want to do a glitter fade coming up from the bottom. I'm going to do every nail the same. Uh, so I'll just show you doing this one thumb and yeah I'll skip through the others or I'll speed it up <laughs> so yeah I'll just let you watch this thumb I do faff around a hell of a lot because some of them bigger hexes kept falling further up the nail than I wanted them to be I wanted the big hexes to stay at the bottom and then just the smaller bits to kind of fade off further up the nail and I kept getting big hexes falling and I had to keep pulling them down look and pulling them down <laughs> but I got there in the end and it looked really nice I was really happy with how these looked in the end Right, I'm just going to stick them in the lamp now for 30 seconds. What I've done is I'm going to use these little silver caviar beads to create a little chain around the bride's neck. What I've done is I've put a little base coat, a little bit of base coat on the top of this nail just to stick these little caviar beads into. Now, I'm not too worried about where I'm placing these beads at the minute. All I'm doing for now is just getting them on the nail. And once I've got them on there, then I'll fap about getting them all straight and, and exactly where I want them. Once I've got them exactly where I want them, 
I'll stick that in the lamp then for 30 seconds. What I'm going to do as well is the glitter nails. I'm going to give them a top coat off camera so I can file and buff them a bit smoother. And that'll be them done, ready for a top coat. So I'll let you watch this, I'll speed it up because <laughs> it takes me ages and I'll be back at the end. Right, that's that chain been cured in the lamp. I like that chain. I was thinking about putting a little gem on the end of it. But no, I wanted it to be just nice and subtle. I didn't want a gem. People, brides don't have big gems hanging off the little subtle necklaces, do they? So yeah, I just left it as it is. Right, um, like I said earlier, I've filed and buffed them glitter nails just to get them nice and smooth. So now we just need to top coat them. And that'll be them finished quite like these I've never done a bridal set before quite like them <laughs> let's see this glitter come to life now this glitter is so holographic so holographic so colorful <laughs> I really like this glitter I really do look at the colors just come out of nowhere I like it a lot I like it a lot beautiful any bride would be lucky to wear these nails <laughs> blowing my own trumpet there again <laughs> oh dear what I'm gonna do as well I was being lazy and I changed my mind on the nail the bride's nail with the little chain on it I did do the bottom half of the nail just using the brush from the top coat and then I thought I better get my detailer brush out and do it properly but yeah if you're ever top coating a nail that's got little gems on or little caviar beads on like this you are better off getting a little detailer brush. You can top coat the majority of it using the big brush from the bottle, but once you get near the gems or the little caviar beads, you are best off just, just grabbing a little detailer brush. Look, can you see I'm being lazy there? Very lazy. <laughs> but yeah, the top part, I do, I do end up grabbing a little detailer brush and it'll stop your gems and your caviar beads popping off as well if you use a little detailer brush and press that top coat right up against them beads or gems whatever it is you've got on your nails it'll it'll help you your gems and beads stay on a lot longer as well doing it this way so yeah look I got my little brush out and just butt that top coat right up to them caviar beads there we go right I'm gonna get them cured in lamp for 30 seconds that'll be them finished I can go and have a cup of tea <laughs> right there we go that's them done what do you think I quite like them. I always say that, don't I? I quite like them, but I do. I like them. I think the nails always turn out better when you don't think about what you're doing. I was in a rush to do these. I didn't realise it was today. <laughs> and I literally just sat down and did them. Because, yeah, this was, remember, guys, it was a collab I did for Charlie's Nail Art and the theme was bridal. As, you, as always, my discount code will be up on the screen. The link to Charlie's website will be in my description box. But yeah, that's it. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe. Remember to hit the little bell so you never miss an upload. And hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Bye.